Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Friday, October the 27th. Morning prayer begins on page 79. The hour is coming and now seems to be the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and in deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, um, let us support you. Come, sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and praise loud shouts of innocence. For the Lord is a great God and a great king of the world. In his hand and the caverns of fear, the heights and the hills of Christmas. Seize his for the reason, and his hands have molded the dry land. Oh, bow down, bend the knee, and kneel before the woman. He is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Both today we part of the Mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us the Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Be my strong rock, castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and strong. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols, and I put my trust in the Lord. Rejoice and be glad because of your mercy, for you have seen my affliction, you know my distress. You have not shut me up in the power of the enemy, you have set me the feet in an open place. Mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes consume with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. My life is wasted with grief, my years with sorrow. Strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consuming. I have become an approach to all my enemies, and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. They see me in the street. They avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. The whispering crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take me life. So me, I have trusted in you. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon me, too, and in your loving kindness, save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather, let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silenced. Let the lying that be silenced would speak against the righteous, audibly, disdainfully, and with contempt. Great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, 
which you have done in the sight of all, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the of your presence from those who slew you. You keep them in your shelter from the strife of times. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his love in a besieged city. Yet I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the sound of my entrance. But the Lord, all you who worship him, the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full those who act haughtily. Be strong and take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Great honor, was, beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. A blind and dumb demonic was brought to Jesus, and he, he healed them, so that the dumb man spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard, they said, It is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this man cast out demons. Knowing their thoughts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by what do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. For how could one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his house. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever says a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Yeah, 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, Lord. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, land and slain. For with your blood you have redeemed from every family, language, people, and nation, the kingdom of priests. And so to him who sits upon me, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and believe in God. The Father, pray I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died in the Spirit. He descended from the dead. On the third day he was again. He ascended into heaven. It is seated at the right hand of the Lord. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Lord. Lord be with you. And also so with you. Lord, be thy name. I'm making you come. I will be known. Your earth is as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The last is the kingdom and the power for every day. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Lord, ministers of righteousness, that your people sing with joy. 
Give peace, O Lord, and all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Let the poor be taken away. Create in us a clean heart. And sustain us with your voice there. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of, of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, his most dear Son, went not of the joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has shown us in the life and teaching of your Son the true way of blessedness, you have also shown us in his suffering and death as the path of love may lead to the cross, and the reward of faithfulness may be a crown of thorns. Give us grace to learn these hard lessons. May we take up our cross and follow Christ in the strength of patience and the constancy of faith. And may we have such fellowship with him in his sorrow that we may know the secret of his strength and peace and see even in our darkest hour the shining of the eternal light. Amen. It's time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble for all your goodness and kindness to us and to all human beings. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of us. But above all, your measure in the redemption of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies. That with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with the prudence, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves in our service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, in honor and glory for God and Let us bless the Lord. I give you the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all, everyone. Mm -hmm.